Well, I'm, I'm actually at a loss of words, uh, so I'm going to try and find a few words quickly uh, that I can share with you um, after this momentous um, occasion. Um, and I, I really have to say that when I saw this on the program, that I had no idea what it would entail. Um, and um, it has really been unexpected. Uh, but at the same time, I am um, deeply touched um, by, by this honor that you have um, given me this, this afternoon. Um, I am certainly very privileged uh, to be in your presence, all of you. And I therefore firstly want to, to thank um, all the associations uh, for honoring me in this very special way. This is my, my third um, official um, um, function that I actually attended since I've become the president um, in Milan. Uh, I went to China immediately after Milan and then last week during the annual Congress of, uh, conference of LIASA, the South African Library Association, I was also honored by my colleagues in South Africa. So India, I think appropriately, should be third um, on the list. Um, many people would like to come and it's a dream of everybody to come to, to India. And as I said uh, Monday evening, that uh, we have so many things in common uh, with, uh, in terms of our countries, in terms of our history, and therefore it is indeed uh, very, very special for me uh, to be honored in, in this particular way. And I also like to take the opportunity to thank the Indian library community for your contribution uh, to the profession and to international librarianship through visionary leaders uh, that you have had amongst you, Dr. Ranganathan and, and others, uh, because it had certainly assisted in being able to shape the path for the librarianship in the future. And, I, and, I, and I'd like to say, of course, um, I noted um, from the comments that were made by the representatives of the library associations that they've set a very um, serious agenda uh, for me as, as IFLA. And if I have to follow all of that, uh, I probably will only have to spend the next two years on India. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but therefore, I would, I would just like to, to take the opportunity uh, to basically just give you very briefly of course, that um, something and a very brief overview of, of IFLA's agenda. Um, and of course, that agenda includes India, includes the whole region, because what IFLA does, and IFLA as the global voice of library and information, the profession and services all over the world, representing 1,600 members in about 150 countries, it is indeed the global voice. And therefore, when we act, we act for each and every one of you. And we do need all of your support. We do need you to be active in IFLA, in your association. And I know not all of you can come to the IFLA conferences, but even if it is in, in your library that you can contribute to it by becoming a corresponding member, by organizing sessions to speak about what is reading up, what is happening, and get connected and network with other professionals around the world to assist you. So you can, even if, if you can't attend an IFLA conference. But what is important, and where IFLA specifically focus on, and some of the issues that we've been debating over the last two days, has particularly to do, and as we're speaking now, we probably have people in Geneva at the World Intellectual Property Rights Organization fighting and speaking for libraries to ensure that we can improve better access to libraries by getting more exceptions for libraries in order to provide access to information. Speaking with governments, asking governments to support this, that they bring this, make this part of legislation in order to do this for you. We've also been recently been doing tremendous work to basically also join other organizations to appeal against the Google settlement in the US for the North American libraries because of the impact and the implications, the negative implications that that will have 
for libraries and for users in developing countries. And in order to do that, we need your support. But we're doing critical, important work at the international stage. And we're doing that on behalf of libraries. Even if you're a member, not a member. And maybe if we're not visible here, it doesn't mean that we're not doing things for you. We're doing it for you. We're doing it for your users. We're also working with the International Publishers Association, with the museums and the archives, in order to see how we can basically strengthen us, ourselves in terms of the work that we're doing. We have several experts here that are involved at this level in order to develop standards that and guidelines to assist you in order for you to be much more effective in what you're doing. So it's a critical organization. It's critical for us because it will assist us in shaping the future for libraries and in order for libraries to have an impact on society and for governments and policymakers to understand the importance and, of libraries and why libraries do have to exist and will continue to exist. So that is what IFLA needs to do, what IFLA will continue to do. But we can do it with you, and therefore it's important for you to be there. So in fact, in honoring me, you're really honoring yourself, because you're honoring us as a profession in what we have to do. So just finally, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it deeply.